5 from Southwest Florida. You're watching Fox 4 News at 5. And thank you for joining us here in Fox 4 News at 5. I'm Shari Armstrong. And I'm Nadine Giannis. I know it is hard to talk about, but we know many of you in Southwest Florida are just getting back on your feet following Hurricane Ian. But tonight we are watching out ahead of the next hurricane season for you. Now just weeks mm. away. Yeah, we're talking less than two months away, seven weeks away. I know it just like puts a pit in your stomach yeah. just hearing about it. But tonight we do need to talk about preparation for the next storm and also we're getting a better look for the first time at what we can expect in the coming months when it comes to forecasting because the Colorado State University released its 2023 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. So meteorologist Andrew Shipley actually studies long-term forecasting and is now joining us more with this report on this upcoming hurricane season. Yeah guys only 49 days until hurricane season. It's kind of hard to think about uh, when you think about it like that so, but again we did get the Colorado State forecast to here today and they are calling for 13 named storms so that means anything from a tropical storm to hurricane uh, or whatnot six of those being hurricanes and then six of those hurricanes being major hurricanes so if we compare this to what a normal season is this is a tick below normal, which is obviously good news. Uh, we are forecasting a below normal season. So why is that? Well, we are looking at an increasing chance of switching from La Nina's for the last three years to an El Nino. So that means we get more wind shear in the atmosphere and the more wind shear we have, that rips up hurricanes. It helps uh, prevent them from even forming. But we're also looking at Atlantic Ocean waters warmer than normal, which, which would favor storm development. So kind of that in between here, which is why we're still very close to that near average season or just below uh, that near average season. So they also the forecast did call for an 87% chance of a named storm within anywhere up along uh, the Florida coastline, 50 miles or so off the coastline. So still we all know we still have a very high chance of storms here in the state of Florida. Doesn't mean it has to be here in Southwest Florida, but it does mean we do need to start thinking about preparations ahead of our next hurricane season, which starts June 1st.